The announcement of the Pokemon 151 reprints has rocked the market for Pokemon 151 cards, and some new information leaves me wondering if the reprints are actually even happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. So we all know that a few weeks ago, the Pokemon 151 reprints were announced for Japanese Pokemon 151 booster boxes, and immediately people that were hoarding product, sellers that were hoarding products, started liquidating that product, and prices dropped to about 100 bucks for a short amount of time, and then they went back up to about $130, $140, where they leveled out about that price. Still a lot cheaper than the $200 price point. So that happened a few weeks ago, and we have some more interesting things going on. And, and the first thing that I want to point out is prices on the boxes, I've, I've watched them, prices on the boxes have dipped below $100 for the first time that I've seen. I've seen boxes for $99 and $94, and now I don't know if they're still that price. I don't know if they've all sold out, but I definitely saw them for that price. So boxes have dipped pretty significantly under a hundred dollars and this is a huge shout out to everybody out there that called me a moron for saying that boxes would never dip below a hundred dollars well they definitely did so you know uh, you never know what's going to happen but boxes did dip down that low. so we see right here i've seen plenty like this we got somebody right here selling japanese 151 booster boxes for uh, 99 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping okay that's one example right there but here's the next one a big one this is a guy that is in japan who sells a lot of product from japan and you can see right here that you can get a full case of Japanese Pokemon 151 for $1,138 shipped, which comes out to about $94, $95 a box, which is the lowest we have seen it reliably in a long, long time. And this is very good, right? This is good for everybody because we as collectors want product to be cheaper. I, I totally believe in product being cheaper at the beginning and then over time getting more expensive so that if you have the, the discipline to hold on to something for five or 10 years it, and it's worth a lot more money than good on you so this is great stuff for all of us to see right now product is becoming more and more available but there's some really interesting things that i'm hearing and some interesting things that i'm seeing that are making me wonder uh is this actually reprinting in may or, or what's going on uh, you, i've seen a lot of people online talking about hey the reprints coming in april the reprints coming in april and then now that we're right around the middle of april people were saying you know april 15th 16th 17th uh, now that we're right around that time seeing another surge of boxes become available in sealed cases. Now, if you remember, Poke Beach confirmed for us that uh, from Pokemon International in Japan that we're getting reprints in May, right? So this was confirmed from Poke Beach, an incredibly reliable source. So it really makes you think that that's actually what's happening. But now we've had people saying, hey, the reprint's coming in April, and now we're seeing a ton more boxes hitting right now, and it's not even May yet. So it makes me wonder, okay, what's what's going on with the reprint information? Are, are the reprints real? Are they actually happening? Is this some confusion? Was there confusion mixed up? Or, or is there more product coming from somewhere before the reprints actually come in May. It's a very interesting situation, but at the crux of it all, more product is coming, which means lower prices for all of us, which is really, really good to be honest with you. Now, on top of all of this, the, the we do have a lot of value in Pokemon 151 cards still. Now, I always recommend if you don't want to spend money ripping packs or if you want to be frugal with your money, just, you know, buy yourself a booster box or two and then buy singles because there is a lot of value in this set to be had. You can pull a lot of great cards, but ultimately on the nose or at the very end, you're going to save money if you buy all your singles. That being said, that being said, there's still some incredibly valuable cards in Pokemon 151. So you can get the Master Ball Pikachu. The Master Ball Pikachu is still around $270 value the master ball gengar is still around 200 dollars value and the master ball erica is still around 96 dollars value now those are one per box hit so they are pretty rare to actually get the one that you want but that there's those are valuable cards that you can pull in addition to that the erica's invitation special art rare is still fluctuating you know hovering around 140 150 bucks the mu ex special art rare is hovering around 120 and the charizard special art rare is hovering around like 95 to 100 dollars and those are some of the top cards in the set but here's what i really find interesting out of the whole pokemon 151 set yes prices have come down on boxes and on singles this is good that being said, even though prices have come down, there's still significant value inside of the boxes. We still have around 12 cards in the Pokemon 151 set that are worth $50 or more. We have around 12 cards that are worth around $50 or more. I just listed off one, two, three, four, five, six cards that are worth around $100 or more, okay? That's a pretty decent amount when you consider 
we have other sets that are in the scarlet and violet block that have like one or two cards worth 50 bucks or more right and then in addition to that we still have around 40 cards that are worth over 20 bucks in the set there's around 40 cards that are worth over $20 in the set. And then a whole slew of other cards that are worth, you know, 10, 15, 20. There's a lot to be had in the set and a lot to, to pull. And I bring those numbers up to show you that these reprint rumors, while they have brought the prices down and, you know, more products surging onto the market uh, has definitely brought the prices down. There are still significant value inside of Pokemon 151. It is still a really, really great set that has a lot of good value inside of it. Uh, and it shouldn't be something that you shy away from and think, oh my gosh, I got to dump everything. No, no, no. This is good for collectors because this means if you're wanting to buy singles to complete your master sets, they're more affordable than ever. If you're wanting to pick up some booster boxes and have some fun and try your luck at a couple boxes and, you know, maybe get really, really lucky opening two or three boxes, now they're becoming more and more affordable. That is a really, really good thing as well. Danny Phantom actually put out a great video where he broke down like the average pull value. Uh, and you should be averaging around 70 to $75 value uh, per box on average, unless you're like me and the one box that you open has the Golem EX and you get like a $30 value. That's not likely to happen, but that's typically my luck. <laughs> <laughs> that that happens so there's still great value in pokemon 151 there's still great cards that you can pull and then that leads to the last question so we got confirmation right that in may there's going to be reprints okay so we saw a surge of product when all of the you know the resellers in japan started dumping their product and now we're seeing another surge of product but this surge of product isn't coming just from people that are hoarding everything this is coming from people that actually buy from distribution so where is this surge of product coming from was the reprint early or is this something else is this something different and this leads me down the conspiracy hole so put your tinfoil hat on with me and let's let's look at something right here okay so were these reprints actually happening was it a lie or a, or a fabrication or what were, were people confused were we seeing what's happening and thinking that it was going to be a reprint and what we're looking at right now and i want to i want to look at something right so this source this comes from sakura's card shop this is a very reliable source they do a great job uh providing great product and great deals for everybody and i really do trust what they say uh they posted this and these are pictures from screenshots from some of their suppliers we got one right here that says i only received inside information from the pokemon company it is said that the 151 this time is the inventory from last year the price will continue to rise after the sale is completed we won't worry at all however the company does not allow such internal information to be shared with too many people because it will cause market confusion we got another one right here that says this time it's not a reprint it's the pokemon company's inventory from last year and this really so there's a couple sources right here saying this is in the pokemon company's inventory from last year now i will sit, throw the caveat out there this is not confirmed this is just some sources saying that we also have large distributors in japan saying no there's actually a reprint coming uh in, in may this is actually reprinted stuff so we're getting conflicting information so it's really up to speculation like you know is this has there been some type of miscommunication this new surge of product that's coming out is it a, re a new reprint or is it leftover inventory why would there be leftover inventory from last year why would the pokemon company have so much inventory left over and then only be getting around to selling it right now who really knows but there is a great example there is a great example there is another set that came out uh you know a little while ago that was really really popular v star universe and what happened two months uh, two months ago ish with v star universe there was a huge restock of v star universe and the prices went from like 150 50 to what $70 a box or something like that V Star Universe got really really cheap really really fast but the thing is there wasn't a restock of V Star Universe there really was no restock there was no no wind of a restock there was no talks of restocks nobody was telling anybody about a restock what happened is the Pokemon company had a ton of inventory left over that they dumped onto the market and then things got cheaper which is not a bad thing for us collectors and honest to goodness it's not a bad thing for people that want to buy product and sell product it's only really bad for people that buy high and like are holding it right that's the only people that are really bad for it, so boohoo for y'all i guess but that's what happened with v-star universe a couple months ago is pokemon company actually had a ton of excess inventory that they you know unloaded onto the market and it caused prices to go down could that be what's happening right now with this unexpected wave of 151 because we're expecting the reprint in may right it's been confirmed by verifiable news sources that the reprint is coming in may 
But we have a huge surge of stuff coming right now where people are able to get their hands on boxes for about $94 a box. I expect the price to consumers will probably end up being around maybe 105 a box, stuff like that. You'll probably get some people that'll offer it around 95. Is that what's happening? Did a Pokemon company have a ton of leftover inventory? And if so, where's that leftover inventory coming from? They told us around the initial release that they were gonna do a print to demand did they print more than was necessary like what exactly happened and where is this product coming from i don't really know i don't really know if this is a miscommunication if maybe there's not actually a reprint coming in may or maybe there is and maybe this is more inventory i really don't know but the good thing is more product being put on the market means pokemon 151 which will go down as the best set in scarlet and violet history it will be the best set in scarlet and violet it's going to be an incredibly valuable set in the future mark my words more of this product on the market right now is good for those of us that love this set you can buy the singles buy a couple boxes to open buy a couple boxes to hang on to being cheaper right now is not a bad thing at all and that's really all that matters we're getting more of the best and most popular scarlet and violet set to date and that is a good thing guys i want to know what you guys think about all of that down in the comments below let me know uh, and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it's free for you to do that and it helps so much you can subscribe hit that notification bell all that good stuff youtube will tell you when videos come out and since you liked this one youtube says you'll probably like that one too so give it a watch and like i always say my friends find somebody to love and serve today be the change you want to see in the world see you next time